Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's another beautiful day here in North Las Vegas. Um, we're really having beautiful weather right now. So if you guys are ever in the mood for come to Vegas, this is the time of the year you should do it. It is beautiful out there. Um, let's see, today is... March 5th. Yeah, March 5th. It's a Thursday. So, thanks for joining you guys. I appreciate it. As you can tell from the description already, I've picked up a few goodies um, at, let's see, at the pawn shop. Wow. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. I really did good on pawn shop and Desiree Industries. So, um, here's what happened. I walk into the pawn shop, I go in there every two weeks, maybe, once every two weeks, because they, their turnover is really not that, that good in there as far as uh, the movies and stuff. So I go in, and uh, there are no movies. I said, oh, my, my heart skips a beat, <laughs> and I look over, and there's bins on the floor with movies in them. So I asked the gentleman, I said, hey, you, know, you guys getting rid of your movies? He says, no, we're just moving them around a little bit, blah, blah, blah. He said, but uh, anything in those bins over there today, everything's a dollar. I said, oh, cool. <laughs> Time to hoard up. So, long story short, pulled the bin out, went through it. Here's a lot of the stuff I found. Um, first, right off the top, I didn't have a copy of this in my collection, Geostorm. Uh, you guys may or may not know I love my natural disaster or and or creature features. But uh, this is Geostorm. I have not watched this yet. I've, it's been out obviously since uh, two, just 2017. It's a recent one. Uh, satellites are going to control the global climate and keep everyone safe. I don't know. Maybe that's what Elon Musk is up to, sending all those satellites up there. So there's the back. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool to add. Next up we have Drive Safely and Visit Again. I didn't have this in my collection, but anything uh, Las Vegas. This is a really, I think this is a hilarious movie. It's not, you know, it's not a, you gotta watch 16 time kind of thing, but uh, this is not rated 2009, 108 minutes worth. Uh, like I said, I didn't have it in my collection. I try to collect everything that's done or talked about Vegas. There you go. Next up, this thing is in terrible shape. I'm going to have to sterilize myself after this. This is from the producer, Todd Phillips, the director of The Hangover, called Project X. Project X, R-rated. 88 minutes long from 2012. It follows three anonymous high school seniors as they attempt to finally make a name for themselves. Their idea is innocent enough that's through a party that no one will forget. Parties. Alright, next up, I just thought this looked cool as heck. Doomsday. Mankind has an expiration date. Doomsday. Not rated. Looks like 100 and about 119 minutes, and that's from 2008. Director of The Descent comes an action-packed thrill ride through the beating heart of hell. To save humanity from an epidemic, an elite fighting unit must battle to find a cure in post-apocalyptic zone controlled by a society of murderous renegades. Right on my alley. Oh, this is not from the, this is not from the, uh, this one is from um, uh, Desiree. I just thought, Anthony, Antonio Banderas, I think I've seen this one, but I cannot remember it, so I wanted to try it again. And starring Pancho Villa as himself, not rated 115 minutes. This is from 2004, an HBO film. True story of how Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa allowed a holiday Hollywood crew to film him in battle. I didn't know that. 
So, thought that would be interesting to check out. Let me know if you've seen it. Is it any good? Next one, something I just, I have most of these, but I did not have this one. Lost Boys, The Thirst, The Thirst, The Frog Brothers are back for blood. 81 minutes long. San Cazador, prepare to party under the blood moon. Okay. Good pickup, I think. I'm into these BBC things. I pick these up every time I see them. Walking with Dinosaurs. Got that whole series for a buck at the pawn shop. Not rated. Looks like 230 minutes, 1999. 1999. Amazing, amazing digital effects. Hmm. Now this is one of my favorite kind of movies. I didn't have this in my collection, but I have watched it. Um, I love cold kinds of things and survival type situations. And that's what this is about. It's got uh, Mads Mikkelsen in Arctic. Uh, I think I watched this on an airplane one time. I thought it was really cool, so I'm glad to be able to pick it up for a buck. And this is about everything this guy goes through trying to help out another person and, and keep himself alive. I recommend that one. Anyway, it's a slow burn. It's not, not a great movie, but uh, it's PG-13, 98 minutes, and I think it's from 2000, yeah, 2018. So, good movie. All right, the complete seventh season for a buck of The Bang Theory. I have a, a friend that's a big Bang Theory person, so I picked that up for him. And this one, the complete eighth season, for a buck. Both of the, all those are from the uh, pawn shop. Also, White House Down, did not have this one, thought it would be interesting. A little thrill ride there with uh, Channing Tatum and uh, Jamie Foxx. White House Down, I haven't watched this yet. PG-13, 2013, 131 minutes. And one of my favorite. I, I enjoyed the X-Files when I was younger, uh, the, the, the TV series. And I enjoyed this movie, The X-Files. I want to believe. PG-13, 2008, 104 minutes. Who doesn't like The X-Files? All right, Keanu Reeves, The Day the Earth Stood Still, 2008, 104 minutes, and PG-13, Thrilling Reinvention, I haven't seen this one yet, <clears throat> in this thrilling reinvention of the sci-fi classic, Keanu Reeves portrays Klaatu, an otherworldly being whose arrival on Earth triggers an unstoppable series of events that threaten all of mankind. You hear there's a, they're talking about bringing back or doing another Matrix. Is that good? Is it bad? Hey, for me, it's good. I, I'm, I, I'll be happy to watch that. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? It's a 3D Nicolas Cage in Drive Angry, R rated, 105 minutes, 2011, an action adventure kind of thing. Milton, an undead felon. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Anything undead, I'm into. All right, next up. Pick this up because it was a buck and, you know, grandkids will probably enjoy the heck out of it. They pro I don't know if they've seen it. Journeys. Journeys 2, excuse me. PG and 94 minutes long. I hate it when they hide the date. <clears throat> no idea when that came out. <clears throat> oh, okay, to go along with my last hangover, now I got another hangover, hangover part two. Part two, R rated. Cool. Gonna add that to my collection. So I believe, yeah, that's everything. Pretty good haul from with the exception of one title snuck in there somehow. Pretty good haul from the um, 
pawn shop, wouldn't you say? Let me know down below what's your favorite out of those, if you have any. What should I watch first? Let me know. Okay, so next, Desiree Industries. So this is the Mormon thrift store, which is like three minutes down my road here. I go over there once a week, usually on Thursdays. I was there today. Uh, didn't pick up anything much today. Uh, I got a couple things, which I'll show in a future video, probably uh, next Tuesday or so. So, anyway, let me show you what we did pick up. I'm excited as heck to have this, okay? I'm excited as heck! The complete first season of the original MacGyver. And no, that's not enough. Siri, the second season of MacGyver. 1986 for this one, 1985 for the first one. Really happy to have that. I enjoyed the heck out of watching these. Uh, let's see. With, along with my kids. So that was pretty cool. Happy to have those. All right. This is from my a Disney collection. Secret of the Wings. Secret of the Wings G. Rated 2012 and 75 minutes. I have seen this. It's all right, but it's more from a completionist in me. Cartoons, baby, cartoons. The old style of cartoons. These are all public domain cartoons, I do believe. It says there's 200 of them. This is from Mill Creek, our friends at Mill Creek. Twenty-two hours. Come on. Twenty-two hours of cartoons. Let me show you the back. That's what's in it. <laughs> Betty Boop, the Three Stooges, Rudolph, Tom and Jerry, Felix the Cat, Popeye. Love it. Color and black and white. So... I enjoy picking those up. You know, the grandkids and I just we go crazy watching that stuff. Next up is a little another Mill Creeker. Civil War, America Divided. Two hours thirty minutes. Two thousand and eleven. Two thousand eleven. Seven hours thirty minutes. Uh, the American Civil War pitted brother against brother, <clears throat> and in the end. It created a nation. Discover the issues in the unprecedented election of 1860, an election that tore a young nation apart. I, kind of, I like watching those little uh, history things, like this one, Daniel Day Lewis and Steven Spielberg film Lincoln. For some reason, I'm, this one I missed this one. It's a PG-13, 150 minutes from 2013. Daniel Day-Lewis, Sally Field, Tommy Lee Jones. Drama focus on the 16th president's tumultuous final four months in office. I'm excited to watch that one. I like that kind of stuff. Mill Creek! Another Mill Creeker. Up from Slavery. Mill Creek documentary, five hours, six minutes, 2011. <clears throat> Back in 1860, there were as many as 400,000 400, slave owners and almost 4 million slaves. Holy snikes. Oh, man. We're so ignorant of some of the past, I'm telling you. At least I am. Glad to have that one. Going to watch it. <clears throat> Become more edumacated. Let me take this sticker off. Just right in the middle of the title. Sorry, guys. They did it again. These dang type stickers right in the middle. Alright. This is a BBC. Never heard of it. I thought, what the heck, for a couple bucks, I'll take that. To the Manor Born. I think my wife will probably like this more than I will. But uh, 
Penelope Keith and Peter Bowles star in this classic comedy series. One of the greatest comedy series ever produced by the BBC first broadcast on 30th September 1979. The series ran for three series before coming to a close on, in November 1981. It was watched by, the final episode was watched by a record-breaking 24 million viewers. I had never heard of it. If you've heard of it, let me know down below. Is it any good? Is it a good comedy? All right. little flipper case in Gettysburg. Gettysburg. PG. From 2000, it looks like. No. 1993. 1993. Gettysburg. With Tom Berenger, Jeff Daniels, and Martin Sheen. It was in perfect shape. I thought I'd check it out. I've not seen this movie. <clears throat> All right. We've got a little bit of uh, director of Seven and Panic Room produces, based on a true story, The Old Zodiac Killer. Zodiac Killer. R-rated, 2007. 157 minutes. The true story of a notorious serial killer and intense manhunt he inspired. Thriller from the director of Seven. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got Jake Gyllenhaal, and Robert Downey Jr., Mark Ruffalo, and Chloe Savagny. Savigny. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Here's the back. Sorry about the bad pronunciation. Ah, oh, man, I thought this was just pretty cool. It's the Iceman interviews, the Iceman tapes, conversations with a killer, secrets of a mafia hitman, and the Iceman and the psychiatrist. Okay, because I, I'm into this kind of stuff, only because I spent most of my adult life this close to inmates and talking to them and interviewing them and finding out about what makes them who they are and were. So these kind of things, I enjoy the heck out of these. Uh, I've not seen this one about uh, the Iceman tapes, but I'm uh, happy to have that. I want to check it out. And then I used to love this show. And I didn't have the first season. I'm, I'm, I wish it had gone on forever and ever. House. Season 1, not rated. 16 hours, 2005. I enjoyed the heck out of the, that show. All right. Another one I've never heard of, but I thought it looked interesting. It's from RLJ. It's called Murdoch Mysteries. Season 6. Excuse me. I think this is Canadian. I, not real. Everything looks to me like it's Canadian. It's about 572 minutes, 13 episodes on four discs. Basically a mystery. I like mysteries, so I picked that up. Check it out. Next, we got another first season, guys. A whole season of Barney Miller for two bucks. Barney Miller! I love this show. 314 minutes. Not rated, of course. This is from 1974 and 75. My junior and senior years of college. Love that show. One of the few I actually watched when I was in school. <clears throat> Next up we have... Oh, brand new. Factory sealed. George Clooney and Solaris. Solaris, Solaris. PG-13, 2002. 99 minutes, and it's a sci-fi thriller that I've not seen. Sci-fi movie. Lonely space station, orbiting a mysterious planet. Strange phenomena start happening. Looks like fun. If you've seen this one, let me know down below. What do you think? Was it any good? Alright, because <clears throat> we didn't have enough cartoons with that 200. With <coughs> Excuse me. Looney Tunes, 411 minutes, Warner Brother, shorts, looks like 56 top Warner Brothers animated shorts are now rounded up on this DVD. 
lots of extras. I thought that was pretty cool. Lots of laughs to be had there. Pretty cool. Okay, so I didn't have the season one or two of this one. I've never watched it, 30 Rock. Because they had it for so cheap. I figured, what the heck, I think I got them for yeah, $2 a piece. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me know down below. Do you guys like this show? Uh, I like to pick up the first couple seasons of stuff just to see if I like it. And we shall do that. Let me know. You enjoy it? Alright, I got one from my buddy. She's uh, still making her collection, but <clears throat> I was happy to find this one in perfect shape. Stephen King's Red, excuse me, Rose Red, PG-13, 254 minutes. If you haven't seen this one, it's kind of a pretty good movie. Chilling tale of Dr. Joyce Reardon, an obsessed psychology professor who commissions a team of psychics and a gifted 15-year-old autistic girl to literally wake up a supposedly dormant haunted mansion. <laughs> good times. She'll be happy to have that, I hope. And because this is brand new factory sealed, my wife will probably love this. Natalie Wood. TCM's Greatest Classic Legends. It's got Splendor in the Grass and Inside Daisy Clover, Gypsy, and Sex and the Single Girl. I will not watch these, but the wife surely will. She's are from the 60s. It's all movies from the 60s. Speaking of 60s, Let's try the 50s. Greatest classic films, brand new, factory sealed, romantic dramas. I won't be watching it, but I'm sure my wife will. I'm sure she's seen them. Greatest classic fifth. This is from the 50s, like I said. Rebel Without a Cause. That's a pretty good movie. East of Eden, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and A Streetcar Named Desire. There you go. Pretty good pickup for two bucks, huh? And last but not least in this week's haul video, how do we do? About 23 minutes. Pretty good. I picked up Miss Meadows. Justice is sweet. 88 minutes, not rated. It's a thriller from 2014. And <clears throat> Miss Meadows is a school teacher with impeccable manners and grace. However, underneath the sweet exterior hides a gun-toting vigilante, vigilante who takes it upon herself to right the wrongs in the world by whatever means necessary. A pop, pulp fiction Mary Poppins. I've not seen it, so I'm kind of... Can't wait to check it out. You guys seen it, let me know. What's it like? What'd it be like? <clears throat> well, thank you. That's it for this haul video. Except I've got a... I've got a... <clears throat> I've got a movie to give away, or two, or three. Digital movie code for the, Di the Divergent series Insurgent. This is iTunes only, so everybody's going to get a shot at this one. iTunes only. Go! Enjoy! And thanks for watching my videos. Go get it. Oh, you say you want another? Okay. How about something called Maps to the Stars? iTunes only. Ready? Go. Go. Enjoy. Maps to the Stars. I believe it's iTunes only. Oh, how about one for my subscribers? Okay. We're going to give away to the subscribers. How about Maleficent, Mistress of Evil? That's a premium, right? All right, so my first subscriber, and you've got to be a verified subscriber <clears throat> to get this one. That's right, we're going to give away Maleficent. Does not have the points, sorry guys. But you can have the code.
First one to comment in or in the comments say, "Give me the code for Mistress of Evil." You gonna get it. All right. Hey, again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it so oh, very much. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Please subscribe. <clears throat> we're doing pretty good, you know. We're we're climbing slowly, slowly. But uh, you guys got to help me out. Get me to a thousand, you know. Bring your friends, your enemies. Anybody can subscribe to the Geriatric Geek. Anyway, hey, from North Las Vegas, you guys keep smiling. Keep having fun. Until next time, peace.